Excuse me, son. As I was looking through the company's paperwork after getting home from the academy, old man came to visit me. Kazuya Kujoin. What's wrong? Well, it's Kiyoya. That Kiyoya again? He needs to be punished already. He is the oldest brother in the family, after all, so that is quite difficult. Although I do believe it would be possible after you officially take over the family. Father's loose, too. So, which girl is he trying to lay his hands on this time? A model? An idol? Actually, she is the daughter of the Otari family. What? Speaking of the Otari family, up until a few years ago, they were on par with our family making them one of the leading families throughout the nation. A few years ago, their business focused overseas failed miserably. I've heard that this affected their operations in Japan and they've been struggling ever since. They are no longer capable of running the business and the daughter of the family was sold to us. Indeed. I see. That asshole. I can see him enjoying every bit. What shall we do? I need to check one thing. The Otari family. Uh, whatever. Oscar Otare wasn't just independently sold to Big Brother, right? Yes. She is the property of the Kajoin family. Well, I believe that was made possible because... It's most likely Big Brother who arranged that. Damn, that asshole. Let's go, old man. Where to? To punish that asshole, of course. Hmm. The material and dress look fantastic on you. As expected from the daughter of the Otari family. <sighs> Embarrassed? You've always had a big ego. But you're mine now. Not one person can accuse me of doing anything wrong. And you have no right to refuse. Asshole. You better watch your mouth, alright? I'll break you gently if you obey me. But if you resist, I'm giving you no mercy. I'm not obeying you no matter what you say. Huh? Is that your wish? Well then, as you please, Kyoya, wait. Uh, K Kazuya! You jerk. What did you do for this to happen? Damn it! That old bastard! I told him to keep his mouth shut! Answer, Kyoya. That girl is property of our family, not yours. Without permission from me or the father, it's unacceptable to lay your hands on her. Shut up! I'm the one that brought her here! Plus, I'm your older brother! There's no way the younger brother has more right than the older one! I am the rightful heir to this family. Even you must understand what it means to defy me, don't you? Uh, that's... I'm also aware of your past deeds. Don't think you're free to do whatever you want. God damn it! End of story. Old man, take that girl over here. Yes, right away. Wait! I just need father's permission, am I right? To do whatever I want to that girl? You fool. You never brought it up to him in the first place because you knew he wouldn't give you permission. Screw it! I will! By means of making her my wife! Huh? You're a real piece of work. Fine, do as you please. As long as father accepts. No way! You said it! A man can't break his word! Yeah, fine. But on the other hand, if father doesn't accept, give up on this girl altogether. Of course! After a mutual understanding, Kiyoya left the room in exuberance. If that's how you want to play, count me in too. You... you people... treating people like objects! Asuka Otari. You were sold to the Kajoin family. As the daughter of the Otari family, don't tell me you don't understand what that entails. But this is wrong! Old man, this one makes too much noise. Take her away. <sighs> you are always like this. That's why people call you cold-blooded. You've always had a naughty mouth. Learn some better language if you're a lady. With the help of the old man, Asuka was forced out of the room. She was still making a nuisance, but I ignored it and took out my phone. Father, it's Kazuya. Yes, I'm sorry it's by phone. Yes, it is urgent. I have a favor to ask you. It's about Asuka Otari. So? Why was I called here? You'll see. A year younger than me, but arrogant as usual. I can hear you. I don't know what you're- Hey, Kazuya! Ah! What's the matter? What's the matter?! What the hell do you think you're doing?! 
Did father give you permission to make Asuka your wife? Don't play games with me! When I spoke to father about it, he said the girl is already yours! You butchered our promise! What? Watch your mouth. When did I butcher the promise? How shameless! I know you did something to keep her from becoming mine! That's why... Let me repeat myself. When did I butcher the promise? Uh, that's... If father gives you permission, you can do as you please with Asuka. That was the promise. Which part of the promise did I break? Uh, asshole! Well then, it's time for you to keep the promise. As father did not give you permission, you are no longer allowed to lay your hands on Asuka. Asuka is mine now. The next time I see you lay your hands on her, be prepared to never speak of yourself as a Kujoin again. Uh, just wait and see! Yoya stormed out of the room after a petty line. Uh, um... Sorry, I had to approach this in a rather aggressive manner. At least you're safe now. Uh, um... Old oh, man, how was the paperwork? Huh? Paperwork? Yes, went off without a hitch. I see. Uh, paperwork for what? C could it be for a marriage? You fool. Why the hell would I have to marry you? Huh? I, I mean, you said I'm yours earlier. That's not what I meant. It's, well, it means you're my servant from now on. Wh what? Huh? Would you have preferred to have him do whatever instead? Huh? Uh, who in their right mind? Whatever. Either way, you have no right to complain. Uh... By paperwork, I mean for the transfer to the academy. By academy? Do you mean... The academy you were enrolled in until elementary, and the academy I'm enrolled in now. Well, you'll be a sophomore in high school, which is one below your actual grade. But upon some research, you seem to have dropped out of public school in the second grade. Uh, cut it out! Are you that desperate to try and humiliate me? Do you have any idea how much people will make fun of me if I go back to that academy? It's fine. I won't let them do anything. Uh, Old man, prepare something to eat. I'm getting hungry after all this ruckus. What? What's wrong with him? I can't tell what he's thinking, even from back then. He's younger than me, too. Huh? I get to eat, too? That's what I've been saying. But if I'm your servant, it's common sense that I should be waiting in the back while the owner eats. And plus, this is a luxurious meal. It should be the owner's. That was just an excuse. I have no intentions of making you my servant. Is... is that allowed? Won't I get scolded? It's my freedom to do whatever with my own servant. Kazuya-kun? Don't call me like the old days. That's just distasteful to the man of the house. Then what am I supposed to call you? Think about it yourself. Then... my ruler? Uh, uh how is that? I just got the chills. Hey! Isn't that a bit rude? Fine then. I'm not though? Hmm... You're gonna ignore me? Hey, listen! Miss Oscar. You shouldn't talk to the boy like that. Old oh, man, it's fine. My son. It's a byproduct of being a part of the Otari family. There's no use in trying to change it now. Ugh, I was a fool to think otherwise, even for a second. You're more arrogant than you ever were. Aren't you the arrogant one? You're the only woman I know who can stand tall in a situation like this. Is that supposed to be a compliment? I'll leave that to your imagination. Pretentious as ever. Even with that attitude, Asuka ate the meal with delight. For her, it must have been a long time since a meal like this. She seemed content from start to finish, and I let her be. I can't understand. As I paced through the long hallways, I was confused with the situation I was under. Those who are sold to a family of this stature are in for a hard time, or so I thought. But my treatment here is as if I was a princess and the hospitality I was receiving was far from normal. I've known Kazuya for a long time. We've seen each other at social gatherings and at school since we were kids. You could say we're familiar with each other. He was the son of a leading Japanese conglomerate and had attracted much attention since he was a child. However, his personality was very cold 
and his attitude was condescending, so people stopped approaching him. But not being ladylike as I am now, I had no friends, so I took it upon myself to try and talk to him. As expected, he would give me the cold shoulder, although he was younger than me. I thought of him as a conceited guy, which made me want to get involved even more. In the end, he showed no signs of becoming nicer, even until I was kicked out of the academy. Strangely enough, this relationship has lasted for five years. What was he thinking back then? And what is the reason he has me by his fingertips now? Miss Asuka. Old man? What is it? Oh no, is he going to scold me about my attitude toward Kazuya? I mean, my ruler? I apologize. What? Uh, is this about Kazu, uh, my ruler's brother? That too. But it is mainly about Kazuya's oppressive behavior towards you. Huh. Compared to what my ruler's brother almost did to me, I didn't think my ruler's attitude was a problem at all. Kazuya is actually a very splendid individual. It's just his environment that turned him the way he is. Environment? Kazuya has always had excellent talents. However, Kiyoya, who was jealous of his talents, began plotting against him. Which made Kazuya shut his heart from everyone. So he became very domineering and showed no openings to those around him. Even now, while only a sophomore in high school, several duties of running a company has added even more to his plate. Despite all of this, his core has not changed. Some of the maids that work here are victims of Kiyoya, which Kazuya has helped. He has rehabilitated them until they were able to get back on their feet. And of course, they all work in a position where they do not have to see Kiyoya. My ruler... His ways of treating you are a result of his earnest consideration. Please do not misunderstand. It's okay. I know he helped me out at the very least. Is that so? I am relieved. It is only you, Miss Asuka. Kazuya has requested for you to be on equal footing with him. Huh? Really? Yes. The reason why Kazuya doesn't leave the housework to you is not because he thinks you aren't capable of doing it. There are maids today who do the housework that weren't capable of doing them at first. I see. That means I'm special to him, right? Indeed. Please keep this conversation a secrecy from Kazuya. <laughs> of course. I can't speak of this for myself in the first place. <laughs> I see. My ruler's the hot-cold type. Hey, who's the hot-cold type? Ah! E eavesdropping on people speaking to themselves is not of good manners. Wouldn't you agree? You shouldn't be talking. Seems like you and the old man were talking. What was it about? Uh, hmm, I wonder what it was. Latently trying to be all polite. Well, fine. You'll probably have a hard time since you're still new around here. Tell the old man if you need anything. Aren't you supposed to say, tell me if you need anything? That's not of my character. Plus, unlike you, I'm busy. Oh, is that right? Well, fine, fine. I understand. What are you sulking about? Uh, I I'm not sulking. So, what's angering you? <laughs> I'm not even angry. Huh? Your face seems red. Have you got a fever or something? Uh, hey! Wait, 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 wait! You're acting like a broken toy! Your forehead is hot. Seems like you have a fever. N no this is... Because you're touching me, my ruler. Huh? Oh, that's what you mean. My bad. Jeez. Uh-huh. You do this to the other maids too, don't you? Why would I? I don't have all day. Huh. Hmm... You don't? What's up with that look? Ah! Uh, what are you? My legs. They cramped. You weren't even walking. How can your legs cramp? Uh, as soon as I tried walking, they cramped. Yeah. Be careful. Huh? What? I is this what they call a head pat? Is he really doing this? You must be tired after everything that happened. Why don't you get some rest? Uh Wait. Asuka? My ruler? Kazuya? You being nice to me... Does that mean you think I'm special? Not really. I don't think I was being nice to you. You're lying. You were kind to me just now. And you still treat me like a princess. I told you. 
It's because you don't seem capable of anything. Then you would have put me away in a room and made me eat with all the other maids. You didn't do that, Kazuya. That's because I don't want to hear you complain. Why won't you be honest with me? Are you that afraid of showing your true self? Uh, who's been talking? Huh? Why would you say that all of a sudden? Someone must have been talking to you. Speaking of which, what were you and the old man talking about seconds before I came in? Uh... Spot on? Uh, no, no, uh... You felt some sympathy for me after hearing from the old man. N no uh, I was just thinking about how happy I would be if I was special to you. Uh, <sighs> uh, um, that's not what I meant. Um, I was trying to make it work so you wouldn't feel like you owed me. Kaziakin? Your question earlier. If I'm afraid of showing people my true self, I am. If you show your true feelings, people will take advantage of you. That's why you must never show your true feelings to anyone. But, but those words just now. You're right. It's my true self. Because you're special to me, Asuka. Uh, how come? I don't know if you remember, but I've always had an overbearing attitude from back then. There were many who loathed and despised someone like me, but no one tried to stay by my side. Besides one person. Is that... Yep, it's you. Even from back then, despite coming from a nice family, you didn't care about your manners or the way you spoke. You did whatever you wanted. Are you complaining? However, I thought it was amazing that you were able to maintain yourself so well in an environment where only the people around you were loyalty. I knew I couldn't be losing. The reason I was able to get through everything without breaking was because of you, Asuka. If you weren't by my side, I don't think I would have made it. Th does that mean you're not seeing me romantically? You fool. What? If I didn't look at you romantically, we wouldn't be doing this right now. Uh... Plus, when I said you were mine, I asked my father not for you to be my servant, but to be my wife. Does that... I did kind of force this on you, so I'll give you the right to say no. Just, if you don't mind, I want you to be by my side. Of course, as a romantic partner. No, of course I don't mind. When we first met each other again, I was rebellious. But now, I want to be your wife, Kazuya. Really? That's great, but... I know. In front of people, you're gonna be intimidating, right? I'm sorry. No, it's not your fault. But when it's just the two of us, I want you to be extra sweet to me. Uh, yeah. Of course. Just like that, Asuka and I became romantic couples. At first, I thought I would release Asuka once the dust had settled. But it turned out to be a surprise. But for me, it turned out to be the happiest ending. And as for us, we got engaged and lived happily while dodging Kiyoya's traps from time to time.